Hello gamers, this is Noobzilla. You probably watched me play Arc Age some for the alpha, but the beta is up now, so I'm going to go ahead and check that out now. As you can see, we have four different races we can choose from. We have the Nuian, the Elf, the Firin, and the Harani. It just takes them a second to load. It looks like Mr. Invisible. There we go, okay. Alright, what do I want to choose? Let's go with... Let's go with the Fearin again. I'm a big fan of this guy just because the way he runs is pretty epic. He goes down on all fours, and I'll show you here shortly. Fearin, uh, Claw to Earth, Blood to Water, Fang to Wind, Fur to Fire. The restless nomadic Fearin roam the wilds, fueled by dreams of protecting nature and reclaiming their former glory. They believe every life, no matter how small, is not only viable, but plays a critical role in the natural world, and that every Fearin must strive to find their purpose and play their part. It's the female here. Come on, Chicky, where are you at? There we go. Meow. Okay, here's the male again. Alright, let's go ahead and do this, except... We have a few different hairstyles here we can go over. I have a more in-depth video for the character customization and creation, so if you want to check that out, go ahead and do that now. I'm just going to... Find something that is suitable and go from there. All right. As you can see, we got some different colors here. Let's go with let's go with this color. It's pretty sweet. Eyes. Looks good to me. Um, there we go. And the color, what do we want? I think that looks pretty cool. Alright, there we go. Look at that hair sway back and forth. <laughs> okay, next we have style. Arcage has one of the best looking character customizations for the faces, but that is to make up because there isn't a body customization, so it's face only. So it better be pretty good. And it is, thankfully. Alright, let's go and go with that. Next we have skin. I like all those different fur options, but, you know, I'm going to have to go with that, I think. Alright, next we have paint. This is where it really gets cool. I mean, check that out. That's, that's pretty epic right there. There's three tabs of this. I want to show you guys all the different options, just because it is so cool looking. Alright, let's go ahead and go with that. Alright, accept. Okay, we have the different skill sets here. We have Battle Rage. Skill set. The Battle Rage skill set is symbolized by Kyrios, the god of destruction. The devastating attacks of his devotees bombard their enemies mercilessly until finally their foes kneel bleeding and bow before pure destructive victory. And I'll let you check those out if you want. Just pause the video. Okay, next we have Sorcery. The ancient Archmage Aranzeb symbolizes Sorcery. His followers leash powerful, unpredictable magic into versatile elemental and protection spells, just as Aranzeb once controlled his anger and sadness to confront his bloody destiny with serenity. Alright, next we have Archery. 
The Ancient Plains Warrior pledged to protect the Furin tribes with true aim and honest soul. Okay, we're gonna go through these a little bit quicker now. The vitalism. Uh, the vitalism skill set is symbolized by Charipsa, who was tasked with guarding the gate in to the dream realm rather than participate in reality. And we have occultism, symbolized by Nui, a goddess of death and the hereafter. Her gentle hands gather fallen heroes and bear them to eternal rest. And shadow play, uh, the assassin Melarissa, or Melisera, excuse me, known for her outrageous attempts to kill the gods, is the patron of shadow play. His devotees use stealth to maneuver close to enemies before inflicting fatal wounds, or dash forward to launch lethal attacks in the span of a heartbeat. Right, let's go ahead and go with Shadow Play. Brutalix. And here we go. Let's see if this is in English now, because before, if you watched my other videos, you saw that it was in Korean. An ancient bard's tale. Ooh, it is English. Fyrin, the children of the gale. Fyrin kids learn to run before they can walk. A must for a race as restless as the wind. Usually, settlers record their lives or build towers in the ground, but not the Fyrin. They see no need for hearth or home, and require little more than dew to moisten their throats and meat to fill their bellies. Centuries ago, when war tore Auroria, the hero Taiyang led the Firin onslaught. It's said that when he fell, slain by his best friend, the plains burst into flame in protest. When the Firin fled Auroria, they left their grief behind. The wind of their new range brushed their tears away. Other settlers were puzzled by the cat people's feral ways, especially the wealthy Harani. Their suspicions jinxed peace from the start. No Harani was ever praised for his genial nature and the clash with the Firin came swiftly. Though the Children of the Gale claimed more victories, their opponent was an entire empire. Worrying with advanced technology and trained fighters. To stand against such a well-oiled machine, the Firin had to build their own empire. They called it Temi, and for the Harani, Victory became even rarer. Fighting their swift, fierce opponents was like fighting a storm. The Harani backed off. Meanwhile, the Firin grew accustomed to their homestead and began assimilating Harani ways. The Harani bided their time, waiting for the Firin to forget how to fight like the wind. This time, when the Harani struck, their domination was absolute. The Temi Empire shattered like ice, sending shards of Firin back to the wilds. But the wind does not stay quiet forever. Nomads again, the Firin found strength in the plains. They left their grief in the Temi ruins and let the wind brush away their tears. Their power and might rose like a thunderhead. Hundreds of years passed. Seers announced the birth of a new great Mara. He was to lead the Firin back to the plains of their ancestors on Auroria. Just as Taiyang had prophesied. The key will be to keep the history of Temi from repeating itself. To reclaim the plains, not by building an empire, but by embracing the wild nature of the wind. By embracing the spirit of Taiyang that still lives in you all.
very nice. It was cool to hear that in English for the first time because, like I said, I heard it in Korean probably 10 times. So there we go. That is going to be the start of uh, Noobzilla playing Arc Age in beta. If you like this and you want to watch more, make sure to sub. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.